begin at the same Mercury Redstone and take us from the Apollo and Space Shuttle programs into current day activities at this multi-user spaceport into the exciting future of NASA. The work that's being done right this moment at Kennedy Space Center is bringing us closer to that next monumental achievement in space exploration. To welcome you, here's Space Shuttle astronaut and Center Director of Kennedy Space Center, Bob Cabana. Hi, I'm Bob Cabana. Welcome to NASA's John F. Kennedy Space Center. Where NASA is about four feet thick and compressed to hold the weight of the crawler and the mobile launcher. And then below that is some hydraulically compacted sand that can support all the weight. And then once we're there, we'll drop it all off. And a few days later, there'll be a launch. We'll come back, we'll pick the mobile launcher up, and we'll bring it back to the VAB to start the process all over again. With 50 years and some 3,000 kilometers or 2,000 miles on the clock, NASA expects the crawlers to be in operation for at least another three decades. How cool is that? The latest refurbishment is complete and preparation is well underway for the first SLS mission. The crawler will be doing what it was originally designed to do once again, which is moving rockets. inside the VAB at level 26, 274 feet up. And I can see behind us, right over to the right, the newly added crew access arm attached to this mobile launcher. I want everyone here to meet Cliff Lana, the mobile launcher project manager. Cliff, can you explain the significance of adding that access arm? Sure, the crew access arm for SLS and Orion. It basically will be the very last place on Earth that the crew will be before they're in the spacecraft and headed to space. Now the weight room provides a contamination-free environment up next to the spacecraft, and as you suspect, it's white. It's the weight room. Look 
at how big this is. Deanna was just saying if they turned this on right now, we'd be dead, and that is true. There's no way they built this. They did. But there's no way. They did. New landing is fake. There's no way. <laughs> we never went. You don't think so? I, I think we went. I just don't know if we went in the 60s. I don't think we went in 69. Like, look at that. Yeah. Maybe that's smart. I, I got that smart now. I guess some people were. But they built something that has never been built before. Look at it. The rover. This is the rover. It's their moon buggy. Moon buggy. Look at the seat. Mm -hmm. Very simplistic. Well, it has to be really light. Lightweight to get on the rocket. It would have to be like heavier on the moon, right? Yeah. You, you know, how do they know what type of tire to put on it? I, all terrain. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a spacesuit. a touch the moon exhibit and we are currently touching the moon this is the moon how does it feel it feels really smooth, smooth. i would have imagined it's it, probably been touched a bunch though yeah. yeah it's just like a normal rock that but it's from the moon i'm surprised by the color though i would have thought it would have been lighter because yeah. the moon is always kind of whitish yeah. I would think it would be like a gray. Yeah. And this is what they say about it. Yeah, it's very tiny. So they have this like feature where you step, it'll make footprints. You step in the right spot. And then I just made one here. Brianna never can make one. <laughs> Keely just made like three. <laughs> they won't allow Brianna to make any. Trying my best. Keely makes them anywhere she goes though. Here's another exhibit. And they have... Oh, these are the newspaper articles from around the world when it happened. They have like the astronauts, the American flag, and different newspaper articles from around the world. Fine powder is extremely abrasive and unavoidable. Within hours, the moon dust covered the astronauts' spacesuits and equipment, scratching lenses and corroding soft seals and joints. Like a 
hearts. Very different from the last one. This is the Ambassador of Exploration Award. Here is a lunar sample from 1971. Yeah, and it looks very different than the one we touched, but I want to touch that one. Yeah, let's see what it really feels like. Here is the Apollo 14 capsule. All right, we just finished lunch. We're gonna take a tour of the Rocket Garden and then we're gonna head over to Disney Springs. So now we're in the Rocket Garden and that's all these rockets that you're seeing. They're very tall. This one's 105. over to Disney Springs but after waiting 45 minutes they said they were at capacity so we could not go in today which we we're really bummed about but it's okay because we're going to meet up with Brianna's aunt and uncle and we're going to probably go get some Dairy Queen maybe go out to dinner and do a few more things but that will bring this video to its end um, our spring break trip is almost over we actually fly out tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. so for right now, if you like this video, please like it, uh, subscribe to my mom's YouTube channel, and let us know down in the comments if you want us to take over the We Team Williams YouTube channel again. If you want to see the council decide your fate again, uh, just let me know.